Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty, and I'm here today to share with you the floral overlay kits by Care Brandon Creations. And these kits are absolutely fabulous. I'm showing you them today on just plain white paper so you can see what they look like. But these are designed to be printed over other designs, either scrapbook paper, cardstock, uh, other printables. Really, these have just a multitude of uses, and they're going to be so cool to add uh, to your digital kit collection. Uh, they'll really extend the kits that you currently have. Um, I'm going to link, put the links for both kits in the description box below. They are available on Kara's Etsy shop. Uh, and I'm just going to go through them really quickly, and then we're going to do a, uh, a project, a really quick project using them at the end. And I'll show you some different ideas on how you can uh, layer these up with other types of printables and how you can layer these up with other types of printables and uh, use them in different ways. Okay. So let's see, um, you can see this one. All of them are, have florals of some sort because you know, that's floral overlay. Uh, this one also has some butterflies, but these are really pretty. It looks like some stargazer lilies and just all sorts of really beautiful flowers on here. This one has a bunch of uh, daisies. I like these cool little corner pieces. Another piece that has a butterfly and a dragonfly, really pretty. So you can see there's different orientations of these and ways to use them. This one's really bold and graphic, so this is actually kind of cool. This would be really fun to use in some projects. These are just kind of, you know, the side uh, images. This one's really cool. I like these little wildflowers. This is really reminiscent of like a Tim Holtz look with a little bee and a dragonfly. Got these two little corner pieces here and then some butterflies, so pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna get into a couple background pages and you can see how these are um, not quite as bold, a little bit more in the background, uh, more of a gray scale. These are some daisies. And then we have, she has uh, six tags all together in this kit. And I love these florals and the little hummingbird there. Uh, and these, of course, her uh, little labels, which are phenomenal, I love those. And then three more tags. And you can see this actually is a continuous scene. So this could be really cool as like maybe a fold out booklet type thing really cool cool idea Kara and uh, all these little labels some blank ones so that's cool and then she's got some pockets for those labels or for the tags I'm sorry not the labels some pockets for the tags I love the cart postal that's a great addition to this as well that's really fun um, and then some little curly cues and different flowers and some journaling cards. I really love the bat butterflies, those are really cool. And then just some leaves and then various flowers. And then she's got some ephemera. These are great images of butterflies and ladybugs and clusters of flowers. Even a little teacup there, a dragonfly. And then she's got this great page of uh, advertising, um, different advertisements, a lady, little bird, uh, cute little uh, circular advertisement um, piece here and a little postcard. I really love this piece. I love these little uh, pen nibs and keys right there. Super cool. Okay, so that's the entire kit. And then she has the whole kit. This one's in black and white. So it's a floral overlay in black and white. And then she has the entire kit in sepia. And this is great for that vintage vibe, right? Just so cool. So these are exactly the same as the black, just in sepia. And we've already gone through all of these. So I'm just going to go through them fairly quickly. 
so that you can see how it looks. You know, it looks entirely different in sepia, doesn't it? It's so cool. And then these background pieces. And then these tags, I love that. And this one, so cool. My pockets, journaling cards, the ephemera pieces, and then the adverts. So super cool. So you can use these floral overlay kits as is, and you can also use them to transform background papers. So for example, this one is from the uh, Adeline's uh, notebook. And I just printed this sepia uh, overlay over it. And and you can see now it becomes more of like a focal point uh, page in your journal. This uh, background is from Kara's, uh, t one of her uh, tea party kits. And then I just printed this sepia overlay on this. And again, it becomes more of a focal point page in your journal. Really beautiful. All right, so this uh, background sheet is from the uh, farmhouse kit, Kara's farmhouse kit. And I really love the way this one turned out. It's really bold. Okay, so, you know, this is just um, one of the overlays in black. And look how gorgeous that looks. Just really, really pretty. Okay, so it's not just for background sheets. Okay, so this isn't just for background sheets. I have uh, this uh, sheet from Kara's, uh, one of Kara's warm collages. Uh, I love all the butterflies and everything. And it's just, you know, adding an overlay just adds that much more interest to it. So this one has an overlay on the two sides. And it really um, brings out this butterflies with the blacks and stuff. Isn't that interesting? It really looks cool. I love that look. And then this is another sheet, uh, journal sheet from Adeline's notebook. And just printed this over the top of it and that's just really I just think it's really beautiful it's really interesting now you can see this one did not print uh, edge to edge the overlay didn't but the background did for some reason I don't know my printer is just weird sometimes so I'd probably take off you know at least this edge on here probably this edge as well but just really cool I mean it just has a, a, a totally different look and feel to the page. So it really can extend the kits that you already have. So I really like that. I think it's just really interesting. Um, the other thing that I was kind of playing around with is uh, printing it on my laser printer uh, uh, on watercolor paper. And um, I want to experiment and go through and uh, do some uh, watercoloring on this with some distress inks uh, and my watercolor pen and I just think that's a, that's also a different way that you can use this is like as a coloring book type of um, of effect okay so I have this little laminated card so I'm just applying some distress inks directly to this laminated card and then just using that as a color palette uh, with my 
water brush and just basically watercoloring these flowers uh, just to give you an idea of what this might look like. I think in this example I'm using fossilized amber as the yellow and um, let's see marmalade maybe um, and then I used a little bit of uh, barn door and some vintage photo. Yeah, so, you know, that looks really pretty. It's just, you know, it has a nice watercolory effect to it. So, yeah, I'm not going to do the whole, um, the whole thing. But, you know, you get the idea that this can kind of be used as a, uh, um, like a coloring page uh, on some watercolor paper and just make some really beautiful um, tags for that. Okay, so another way to use these kits is to print them out on your laser printer and then foil them with your mink machine or, you know, any kind of laminating machine. All right, so this is what I got. Not sure how well that's showing up, but look at how gorgeous that is with the gold foiling on that. Isn't that pretty? So I really like those. The ephemera turned out really cool too. Even the, um, I was a little concerned about, about this one, but this still turned out really cool. Very interesting. But look at that, the gold foiling. I think that's super cool. I really love the way that turned out. All right, I did this one in gold. Really love that one too. And I did this one in white and that is just really bold and beautiful. I really love the way that one turned out. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Really, really love that. And you, this one's more of a matte finish, not shiny. I did this one in the, um, uh, teal foil. That one turned out really pretty too. Really love that. And then I did this one uh, on white paper with the teal foil. And you can see kind of the difference. How you get really just this beautiful image on here. Really, really pretty. And then I did some ephemera on the white paper in gold with the gold foiling. I really love that. Okay, so when I'm filming this, it is um, all, it's almost Mother's Day. So uh, I wanted to make some cards and I thought these would be perfect uh, as the base of cards. I'm gonna be using some uh, images from Kara's uh, gratitude uh, tag kit. So I'm going to use, I have three cards I need to make. So this one, this one, and this one, I thought would be really beautiful for some cards. Okay, so I think I want to use this. This is kind of what I was thinking of, uh, the this tag kit with this uh, white one. That'll be one card. And then I wanted to use this with these, this really, um, with the gold, thought that would be really pretty together. And then this one, I was thinking of using with this. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna use this thicker cardstock as a base for at least a couple of my cards. So, and I'm gonna make them five by seven. So I'm going to score this at seven, uh, five inches. So I am trimming the card base to five by seven uh, after I had scored uh, the card at five inches. And now I'm just cutting down the image to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. Yeah, that's good. I like that. It has a nice little border to it. And now I'm just uh, taping the image down to the card base using my ATG gun. 
The only thing about tape is you gotta make sure you get it straight the first time. And now I'm gonna cut out the tags that I'm gonna use on this card uh, front uh, from this sheet. Uh, You'll see that the uh, tag is actually a little bit larger than I want it to be. So I'm going to have to uh, trim the tag down a bit and kind of remake the tag actually. Um, and I'm going to back the tag with some uh, cardstock. Um, actually, I'm using some file folder. Uh, and I'm also going to cut out that little uh, uh, lavender circle uh, image up above and use that in the card as well. Okay, so I'm just using a two inch circle punch to punch out that lavender circle. Uh, I'm going to ink up the edges of both of these uh, pieces with some walnut distress ink. Uh, I just, I really like that effect and the way it looks. And then I'm going to add an eyelet in the hole in the tag. I love that. Love, 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 love that. And now I'm just adding some seam binding uh, between the tag and that uh, round circle uh, decoration. And then I really want to um, scrunch up the uh, seam binding. And I'm doing that by just wetting it, scrunching it up really well, and then drying it with uh, the uh, heat uh, gun. Uh, and that gives you a really nice kind of a scrunchy uh, looking uh, seam binding. It's really cool. Okay, so I'm following a similar uh, formula with the other two cards. I'm backing uh, the tags onto some file folder uh, just to thicken it up. Uh, and I'm going to take those uh, foiled images, uh, cut them out, uh, leaving a little bit of a border and mount those on the card fronts. And then, you know, just kind of layer it up. Um, and I think they turn out really, really nice. Okay, so here are the cards that I came up with. I really love the way these turned out. Um, this one's going to be for my mom. Uh, I've got this one, which is going to be for my sister-in-law. I love that one too. And then this one is going to be for my mother-in-law. And it kind of, they all kind of fit their personalities. So this one I attached uh, this to here. Oops, there's a little piece of paper there. Um, just use this as a background, added a little label there, and then it opens up into a nice card. And then I've got this envelope that I'm gonna put the card in. So the card will go in like this. And we'll look like that. I'll just write her name right there. Look how cool that looks. I really, really like the way that turned out. I think it's super pretty. Okay, so that's that's my mother-in-law's. Got my sister-in-law's right here. And uh, this one, it ties closed. And you can actually remove this little tag. I put these little um, clear uh, photo corners on there. So you can see this beautiful image like that. And then, you know, somebody could write a little message on the back of the tag if uh, one of the kids wants to do that. And then there's the card. And, you know, these, of course, these are cards, but, you know, you can take these same principles and use this, you know, for you know a, um, a page in your signature or a cover or I mean it's just you know these are just ideas you know and they can be used for lots of different um, things you know you could use it for a card or you can use it for um, you know take these ideas and, and use it inside your uh, your journals 
uh, or your folios or whatever you want. Okay, and then this is the envelope that this is gonna go in. So let's see. Put the um, put this in like this, and then that goes down like that. I'll write her name here. Got the back there. Isn't that beautiful? I love that um, teal foil. It's gorgeous. All right, and I just love this one. I think it's just really feminine and turned out exactly like I envisioned, which, you know, doesn't always happen. <laughs> um, I scrunched up this uh, seam binding, just, you know, used some water and then dried it. And again, this one is um, tied closed, and this little tag comes out of these two, you know, I put it, put it down um, on these... Uh, with clear photo corners right there. And it opens up like that. And then again, this is just a tag. You could do some writing on the back if you wanted. I think each of these cards really uh, fits their personalities. So that's what I was kind of going for. And I really, I really love the way they turned out you can see because it has those four photo corners there that tag's not going anywhere okay and then here is the envelope that this uh, goes in and this one is these I noticed that the envelopes didn't uh, take the foil quite as nicely as the paper um, I'm thinking you know it could just be the different this is a much rougher craft than this is this is a smoother craft but it also could be that these are thicker. Um, so, you know, but it's it has a little bit of a distressed look, but I still I still really like it. Um, I think it's really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I like that the, the card matches the envelope. So that goes in like that. And then you got the back right there. All right, so these are my Mother's Day cards for the women in my life. <laughs> um, and I hope that you had a very, very happy Mother's Day uh, and that you were able to spend it with family uh, and the people that you loved surrounding you. Um, all right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed these these kits. They're just lovely, and they've you know got lots of different kinds of, of um, applications. Uh, they're great to extend the kits that you currently have in your stash, uh, your digital kits. Um, just just a, a really great idea. I really love this idea that Kara came up with to do these. So uh, uh, I'm going to have the link to both of these uh, kits in the description box of this video so you can find them there. Um, so I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the description box below. Uh, if you'd like to see more content like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Denise with Paper Crafty and Craft On.